started with a marathon, a marathon of 16 games that hopefully will qualify us for Russia 2018 and uh, obviously we want to start on the right foot there and get the first three points in and uh, now we're all excited about it. For me it's special, you know, you don't often get chances to play in front of your, you know, in your hometown and in front of family and friends and 45,000 fans. So. It'll be good to, to showcase what the city can contribute to the national team. For us in general, it's it's a very special opportunity. It's a beautiful ballpark. It's you know has a lot of history. St. Louis is a huge soccer town and has a lot of history. So we are very pleased and and privileged to be here. And we can't wait to get out there on the field in front of a fantastic crowd. campaign. You've got 30 some months before the World Cup. This is an opportunity to really get your young players involved and get them moving, thinking that in two and a half years down the road, you want to be at a World Cup with a younger team than you had before, more physical, more active, and going, this is where that starts. It's the U.S. who get us underway on a chilly night in Missouri. This surface specially laid, the stadium converted from a baseball arena, usually of course the home of the Cardinals. What do St. Vincent and the Grenadines have to offer? And that's been a problem as well lately. Confidence and belief wouldn't be at its highest just at the moment. Here's Oleks Anderson again, wonderful chance and a brilliant goal. What about that? And the US absolutely stunned here by the Minnows. Did I say stage fright for St. Vincent and the Grenadines? I think you can rewrite that. How do the US respond to that? Abby and Johnson back to Tim Ream playing in his home city here. Good looking ball in towards Altidore. The goalkeeper McDowell got a fist to it. to cut it back and Wood! Oh, that's a sensationally clever finish. In from the start, scoring as well. US level, and it's Bobby Wood. Fabian Johnson. Good forging run. Here's Wood again! And it's, well, in the end, is wide. Bradley clever that way, let him run. And this is beautiful, and that's so unlucky. What a goal that would have been from Michael Bradley. After all, brought down on the edge of the box. And Fabian Johnson lining this one up. It's Johnson, and it's in the back of the net. Maybe by a deflection, goalkeeper seemed to be wrong-footed by something. But Johnson is on the score sheet, and the U.S. are ahead. And a flicked on ahead, and an empty door scores on the back post. 3-1. And the U.S. beginning to race away now, and that looked like something right off the training ground, and it worked a treat. <laughs> flicked on again, and Cameron this time, and it's another goal. Jeff Cameron for the United States, 4-1. Altidore, flip forward, Zanez with a big opportunity and makes it count. It's five and counting. 
The interesting story here is going to be the introduction of Matt Miazga. This is the player Poland won. He plays for New York Red Bulls. He's a regular starter. And if he plays for the USA tonight, he's America's player. Poland can't have him. Well, and it also looks like Darlington Nebby, yeah. who's been a player that's been talked about for the last four or five years, they're coming in for the United States. So on comes Darlington Nackby of Portland Timbers. Big moment, a debut. There are moments in your career you remember for a lifetime, and one of those is your debut for your national team. Good ball forward, wasn't it, from Jermaine Jones to Jassi Zades. Oh, they're picking the passes. It's out it all. This will be some goal if he goes in in the end. And that's exactly what happens. Josie Altidore again via a hint of a deflection. 6-1. And the USA are off and running on the road to Russia.